Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about an interview that was on O'Shea Jackson Jr.'s podcast. Of course, people know O'Shea Jackson from um, Straight Outta Compton, Ice Cube's son. But he's in the podcast business and vodcasting, if you say it's YouTube, it's got vision. But he interviewed Sam Punk recently and he put a really interesting question to Sam Punk of like, and also his co-host put an interesting, um, an interesting take to Sam Punk of, who was the first heel wrestler? Like the first wrestler you saw that you actually hated. And as a wrestling fan, everyone knows I'm a wrestling fan. And I haven't covered wrestling on the channel in ages because I tried to do Wrestle Was and it didn't get an audience and I brought it back here and it wasn't getting audiences. So I want to talk about wrestling. I don't care if this gets views. I don't care what it does. I'm just going to do it. But yeah, when I think about heel wrestling and I, I say three things. I say... I start. I checked it out for Bill Goldberg. This is 2003 era. That's when I got into wrestling. Checked it out for Bill Goldberg. Started watching for Triple H because Triple H was in the reign of terror. He was in the middle of Evolution. Triple H with the world title and hitting Goldberg and all that with the sledgehammer and that. And then I kept watching for John Cena. Obviously, Cena at the time was doing Thugonomics on SmackDown, and that's where I really got into Cena. This was before he won the US title. This is like 03, early 04. But those are the three things I say. But when I think of a great heel rest, like a great heel in the wrestling business, who's the first person I actually hated when I was a fan and before I became a smart fan or, you know, whatever they call us? I'm not calling, I'm not saying I'm a mark because you don't call yourself marks. <laughs> but, you know, before I became aware of how wrestling operated behind the scenes, who's the first person I really despised watching and hated watching and was like, this guy is so evil. Well, it's a couple of people. Obviously, Bischoff is the evil general manager of Raw. He was backing up Evolution, though, and I was a big fan of Triple H. Started watching, so I was like, oh, but he kind of helps Evolution along the way, so I'm okay with that. But at the time, I was like, oh, but he's hurting Benoit. He's hurting Shawn Michaels, and he shouldn't be doing that. He's hurting Sheldon Benjamin. Eugene, how could he do that to Eugene? You know, there was so much happening. But the first one I actually really despised was Paul Heyman. And you might think now, obviously, Heyman's one of the greatest wrestling minds in all of wrestling of all time. And yes, Heyman was the first one I actually despised and hated watching because you just felt him delivering the character so well. At the time, he was the general manager of SmackDown. And he was also still managing at the time Brock Lesnar. So everything Brock Lesnar did heading up to WrestleMania and all that and the rivalry with Bob Holly and, you know, Eddie Guerrero, your hands will be handcuffed behind your back, you know. Those little things were like, what a, what an asshole, <laughs> you know. And I, I think about that now and I'm like, Heyman was doing his job. He was so good at it. And you can see it obviously now. People know Paul Heyman is so good at his job from even the, the bloodline. Acknowledge him. You know, um, Heyman is one of those guys that people, generation after generation, know how good he is. But, man, when you start watching wrestling in 03 and he's the heel GM, managing Lesnar at the time and, you know, still being like the guy in charge of everything, oh, Heyman was on a different level. And obviously, you can say what you will about the heel thing and the Brock Lesnar thing. This was prior to Brock Lesnar going to UFC, so obviously he went, he left in, after WrestleMania 20 in 2004, he left WWE. Went and did NFL for a bit, and I think he was with Minnesota Vikings for a bit. It wasn't for him, and then he obviously joined the UFC, and that's where he really made a big name for himself outside of WWE in the UFC. But, yeah, that's the first heel wrestler I could actually remember saying, yeah, what an ass! Like, how could he do that? And then there's also cool heels along the way that I've got into, obviously CM Punk, but then again, these are the people I'm fans of. Edge, I was a bigger fan of Edge than Cena at a certain point. Like in 2005, late 2005, early 2006, I was really into Edge. I was like, I had the Rated R shirt and I was like, yeah, Edge is actually better than Cena. And I was still a big Cena fan at the time, but Edge was doing good stuff. Like Edge was, you're as good as the heel you're playing off. I believe, I don't know who said the quote, it was a wrestling quote, but it might have actually been Kurt Angle. But someone said the quote of like, you're only as good as the person across from you. you. You're, you might be the face, but you're only as good as the heel you're playing off, you know? And if the heel's not delivering, then the face won't get the pop of like the babyface comeback. And it might have been Hogan who said it. Who knows? Hogan likes to put himself in all the stories. 
Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't be wearing a Hulk Hogan shirt. Hogan says some really bad stuff out here and there, here and there. You know, Hogan, he starts making, he starts makes it, making amends in the wrestling community and we all start forgiving him. And then he says, does, says, says or something, he does, says or does something completely outrageous. And yeah, but it's the NWO show. I'm wearing an NWO shirt. Hey, yo. <laughs> bad guy. But you know, I'm just, yeah. I think there are people I've despised, obviously Heyman, but you know, Heyman, long term, you see the strategy and you see how Heyman really works in an industry and like wrestling and how he's just so freaking good at his job. I, in terms of heel wrestlers, because I've mentioned, I mean, Lesnar, obviously, I've mentioned Le Lesnar, obviously Heyman being the heater for Lesnar, obviously I hated Lesnar, obviously, by that association. In terms of just heel wrestlers, in terms of outside of that, outside of the whole any association to a manager like Paul Heyman, there is one other wrestler I really despised, and I hated him. And for the longest time, I was like, when I was coming up, and this was when I was wrestling, like, didn't know better, I hated Bradshaw, JBL. And this is like 04 when he's the world champion and going in that, in that rivalry with Eddie Guerrero. And I'm just like, what an asshole. Like, how could he do that? Obviously, Angle in there as well. But, I mean, Angle, yeah, he was a bit of an ass as well. But, I mean, JBL was the first real heel I saw. And he was so good at it being a heel that, like, he just basically kept being a heel. Like, I don't think J JBL Bradshaw ever became a face again after that 2004 run. Like, he's kind of had cheers from the crowd and that. But he never turned solely into a face and was like, no, I gotta be the baby face. It's like he was always JBL after that point. He was just like he was just himself. But yeah, who? If you watch wrestling, who was the first heel you first despised? It can be a manager. It can be a wrestler. It could be both. Who's the first heel manager and the first heel, like heel um, wrestler you didn't like when you started watching? Let me know, guys, because I'm really interested. Like that podcast really got my mind thinking. And let me know what you think, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.